I, I guess I have to make an admission. I've been juicing on all the previous episodes of Geek Beat. <laughs> Orange juicing. Take that, Lance Armstrong. Microsoft Surface Tablet, the iPad Mini, and cell phones now allowed in flight. I'm John P. Geek Beat TV takes off now. Today's episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Carbonite. A couple weeks ago, Callie and I asked everyone to do a survey, and about 700 of you did it, so thank you very much. We learned some great stuff, but it also left us with a lot more questions. So we created an awesome new survey, only this time the results are public. We dubbed it the first annual Big Geek Survey, and although we just put it out yesterday, 500 people have already chimed in. You can take the survey at geekbeat.tv forward slash geek survey, and when you're done, you'll see everyone's results. Speaking of results, I was fascinated by the comparison of Microsoft and Apple data from the survey. Only 4% of respondents said they love Microsoft compared to 21% who love Apple. That doesn't seem so surprising, but where things get interesting is that 45% like Microsoft compared to 24% with Apple. That means that 49% of geeks either like or love Microsoft compared to 45% who like or love Apple. But it gets better because only 6% said they despise Microsoft compared to triple that number despising Apple. Question is, will that in any way be reflected in the success of Microsoft's soon to be released iPad competitor, the Surface Tablet? They released pricing starting at $499 for an entry-level 32 gig version without the cover and integrated keyboard, or $599 for one with the cover. The 64 gig version with cover will run $699, and all of these variants are supposed to run the soon-to-be-released Windows 8 operating system. Well, at least the light version of it, laptops and desktops will get a beefier version. Callie and I have yet to play with Microsoft's new OS, but I hear it's going to be great, and I'm looking forward to giving it a try. Mental note. Uh, we better ping them for a copy. Of course, Apple plans to allegedly launch the new iPad mini just days before Microsoft's launch. Frankly, if I were Microsoft, I'd move mine up and surprise them before minis come out, but hey, they didn't ask me. We're expecting a 7.5 inch display, a lightning connector, and supposedly they're only gonna have Wi-Fi models. So are we gonna see millions of these sold in the first few days? Remember Steve Jobs famously said, the reason we won't make a seven inch tablet isn't because we don't want to hit a lower price point, it's because we think the screen is too small to express the software. <sighs> I take it the fact that Apple is coming out with a mini is evidence that even Apple employees know sometimes their great leader was wrong. You know what else is wrong? Losing data. No, Dave, not that data. Your hard-earned data, like photos, videos, and documents. My brother just called yesterday and told me that Lightning took out a bunch of network equipment at his house, including all of his backup drives. Luckily, his computers didn't get hit, or he'd have been fried. Literally. The same day, my friend Terry called me and told me Lightning burned his neighbor's house to the ground. The same day, folks. You gotta get some offsite backup to augment local backups in case something happens to your home or office. So do yourself a favor and check out carbonite.com. I really don't want any of you guys to experience the pain of realizing all is lost. So at least get a basic account and protect your most important files. And use the coupon code GEEKBEAT to get two extra free months. Okay, one more story today. As of this moment, Emirates Airlines said they now let passengers on A380 aircraft talk using their cell phones while in flight. The service somehow works with OnAir, the company that provides their in-air Wi-Fi service. If there's any good news, it's that FAA regulations force Emirates to turn it off within 250 miles of the US. But now that someone is doing it, it's probably just a matter of time before it spreads. What do you think? Wish you could use your cell phone while in flight? Personally, it sounds like a living hell to get stuck beside someone chatting away in what used to be my quiet little flying tube of silence. 
Speaking of travel, remember in one week, Jared Poland from FronosPhoto.com and I will be broadcasting live from the Photo Plus show in New York. We want to thank our friends at Drobo, Smug Mug, Allen's Camera, and Sigma for the support in making this event happen. If you want to join us, check out FronosPhoto.com for details on Jared's photo meetup. And if you'd like a free pass to the expo, just tweet me and I'll get you hooked up. One last thing, don't anybody tell Callie, and don't worry, she doesn't watch my shows, but I went down to Dallas and I took a special photo of the walking man, and I ordered her a very special metallic print from my Smug Mug album. Keep an eye out for her reaction when it gets here. Hopefully she's gonna like it. You can see the photo or even order one for yourself if you want in my Smug Mug album at johnp.me. You guys have a great week. I'm heading down to San Antonio for the Texas Truck Rodeo this weekend. Yeehaw! I'm out of here. Hi from the Photo Plus show in New York. We'll be broadcasting. Those, those ducks are going to love it. They're going to love it. Pigeons. It's good. Pigeons. Mmm, pigeon. Mmm, pigeon.